Good evening, everyone. Tonight, the FBI is conducting a DNA test trying to determine if a teenager found right here in the tri-state is this child, Timothy Pitson. Um, Pitson actually went missing from northern Illinois back in 2011. Now, multiple police agencies from several states are investigating this case, and the FBI and officers from Aurora, Illinois, are likely in Cincinnati right now. They're trying to figure out if the teenager's claims are valid. We were the first to break the story for you on 9 on your side at noon and online. Police found the teenager in Newport this morning after receiving calls from concerned neighbors. He told police he was Timothy Pitson and had escaped from two kidnappers. The search for those kidnappers is underway at this hour. Pitson was last seen nearly eight years ago when he was just six years old. This is surveillance video of the young child with his mother at that time. She was found dead in a Rockford, Illinois hotel room. Pitson hasn't been seen since, well, this case has actually gained national attention. There was a possible sighting many years ago in Chicago, not confirmed. We do have live team coverage tonight. We will start with nine on your side. Jake Ryle with the investigation underway right here in the tri-state. Jake. Yeah, Tanya, you know, that boy had been found wandering these sidewalks here in Newport, this Newport neighborhood on 8th and Columbia Street. He was able to be found due in large part to the neighbors who say they didn't think that he belonged in this area. It's 8 Wednesday morning. These Newport residents know something isn't right. We could see the fear on him and how nervous he was and how he kept pacing and he just looked odd. A woman dials 911. No, never imagined that would happen ever. Nine on your side reporter Jasmine Miner spoke with her. She doesn't want her name or face shown because of the circumstances surrounding the investigation. He walked up to my car and he went. Can you help me? I just want to get home. But she did want to share her story. Well, I was talking to the dispatcher and they asked me to ask his name and he told me his name was Timothy Pitson. And that's how that came about. Pitson, now 14, has been missing for nearly eight years. Um, his face looked like he'd been beat up or something. He had a really big bruise on his face. From Newport, police then take the boy to a nearby hospital to be evaluated. According to a police incident report, the boy was able to escape from a tri-state red roof inn, running away from two men who he says were holding him captive. The all call goes out for officers. It's going to be associated with a white, newer, with yellow transfer paint, four two-row SUV with a dent in the left back bumper, Wisconsin tags. The folks who found the boy. He was just really scared. Remain hopeful. I just hope the best for him. I hope he get back with his parents. Now, police are actively looking for two men, two suspects in this investigation. They describe them as a bodybuilder type. One of them has black curly short hair, a Mountain Dew shirt, and a spider web tattoo on his neck. The other had a, a snake tattoo on both of his arms. For now, reporting live in Newport, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side. Jake, thank you. The Aurora, Illinois community has gone nearly eight years without any answers. Tonight, they're reacting to this potential break in the case. We continue our team coverage with Nine on Your Side's Kristen Swilly. She joins us live from Cincinnati Children's Hospital with how these new developments are impacting Timothy Pitson's family and his hometown, too. Kristen. Yes, Tanya, that teen who says he is Timothy Pitson was taken here to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And while we wait for the results of that DNA test, we are hearing from those who never forgot his case. Well, I'm very hopeful that it's him and that he's okay. After years of wondering what happened to her grandson, Alana Anderson's nightmare could be coming to a close. Cautiously hopeful, very cautiously hopeful. And if it turns out to be him, we'll be thrilled. Timothy Pitson is Aurora, Illinois' only missing child case, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. A public information officer with Aurora PD tells our sister station what happened here in the tri-state is a strong lead, and the department is in touch with Pitson's dad. It just tugs at your heart. I'm a little speechless here, which is unlike me to a yes. certain extent. Many people here remember when then six-year-old Pitson went missing in 2011. They now hope this family and this community get the answers they've been waiting for. Absolutely, my thoughts and prayers are with them for the best outcome for everyone. Anderson hopes he's okay both physically and mentally. 
he's been in a good place when he was gone that he's going to come back to us. And if the teen is in fact her grandson, she wants to pass this message along. That we never stopped looking for him, thinking about him, and that we love him and we'll do everything to get him back to a good life. Now, authorities say it takes about 24 hours for the DNA results to come back in order to find out whether or not this is, in fact, Timothy Pitson. Reporting live at Cincinnati Children's Hospital this evening, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.